Alrighty, so uh, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some jump spots on customs. Because uh, it doesn't like customs, it's the best. Um, all the jumps in this video, I do have max strength. It does boost my jump height by 30%, so keep that in mind. If you see a jump you want to do, I recommend go testing it in an offline mode. If you're capable of doing it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just start on boiler side of the map. Alrighty, so now that we're here, next to USEC stash is what I call this building. Two rooms that, for the USEC stash key, and you don't actually need the key to get inside them. You can just break the windows and jump inside. I do like this room just because this crate, you can actually loot twice. Two of them inside each other. Gotta loot it really fast. Jump here. Get on these lockers. Actually, get out of this window. Make a play. Moving on over to this warehouse with the two green crates. Actually, get on these beams here. Because the pipes are not solid. Now, obviously, some of these jumps, if you fuck it up, you're gonna fracture your legs, so do keep that in mind. Now, if you're in these pipes, you can't actually shoot out of them. Unless your gun barrel is long enough. Oh, okay, never mind. But, you know, you can shoot all the way at the other end, but that's not really useful. So, don't hide in the pipes if you want to shoot people. Alright, moving over to this train track here. Where you can jump over the fence. Jump over the fence actually here at the train tracks. Just land the B-hop. And I'm going to go ahead and have a B-hop tutorial done by Willers in the description. You guys go check that out. Help them out as well. And um, if you get on top of this extract, you actually jump the wall and you don't need... Uh, max strength at all for this. You can actually do this at level 0 strength if you land the B-hop on time. Jump over the wall. That. I'm going to come over here to this red crate. Red container. You can B-hop over the wall. Alright, now if you're on the road, coming along the pipe, and actually jump over the wall by standing on the pipe and jump on over. I, I stop myself as you actually do it on the bus as well. Over. Do be careful though, the barbed wire can change your movement speed, so you gotta keep that in mind when jumping, uh, jumping over. Now here at bus, by the barbed wire along the pipe, you can jump over the wall with this barrel. Pretty nifty, can help you uh, get out of some situations or sneak around. You can get on the forklift as well and jump back over the wall. A little tricky sometimes. So, yeah, I'm not going to jump over the wall, but you just, you know, jump over. This one, you guys have probably seen a lot. A bunch of people know about it. Jumping on this car and jumping onto the portal bodies. Pretty helpful. Especially if you spawn right there. You can jump over the wall by getting on this car. Jumping over the... Now we go to gas. There's some jump spots and gas. I actually used myself and I've gotten a few kills this way. Obviously, this one is pretty old. Get on these boxes and stuff. However, most people just like to sit here and hold the inside. I like to come out and peek through this window. The other one is right. Oh, missed it. You can get on these shelves here. And 
And uh, I've killed scab boss like this before. So I have to sit in this corner. All the ones over here by the broken wall is you can jump through this crack. And you can also jump over this. Jump over this fence. So there's some obvious stuff. Jumping on this, jumping over the wall. Same thing with this uh, stack of pallets. And you can come over here. Jump on these. Get on the roof of this. And you can get out without having to take, uh, you know, one of the big ass openings. Another thing, by sticks and stones, you can come here by this skinny tree here. And B hop on over. So for me, once you get max strength, when it comes to dorms, you don't want to use doors a whole lot to get inside. You're going to be using windows. Ever since the extension of the map, they redid all the windows and it's amazing. You can do great plays with them. Show you guys all the ones to get on the first floor. You can use the bathroom here. And if you don't have max strength, you can use the trash bags, hug the wall. Oh, shot. Hug the wall and get inside this way. And you can use this window. Same thing goes for the room right across. You can get in through this side. It's definitely a lot better than using the front door. And I've killed lots and lots of players using this jump. Because everyone expects you to use the doors. I use doors. Alright, windows only. Come upstairs here. Take a left. Bathroom at the end of the hall, you can jump in here and fall down on the first floor. Go out the window kind of slowly. If you go too fast, you'll just fall to the ground. Obviously, while you're falling, you want to back up. Alright, so first floor for three-story dorms. And jump through this window. Or you can take this corner room. I don't really like using this way because I think most everyone comes in this way. Another great window to use. You use this one pretty much every raid. Coming to the third window. And you're in. Alright, now we're going to move to the second floor. Come down here to elbow. It's open room. Looks out the car. You can actually phase right through this window. You can get stuck on the window still, like it kind of grabs you. But if you're moving fast enough, peek outside, obviously. There. You can also jump through this window here. Phase right through it. I love waiting here for whenever I pay for the car. Nice and safe. No one can grenade me unless obviously they watch me come in here. You can also get on the stairs here. And jump inside like this. However, I don't use that one a whole lot just because if someone is here, they're probably going to hear you on the stairs and come to this room anyways to get a peek outside. Now, over here, I like to jump onto this box. Great for holding angles. Not all these jump spots are going to be about, you know, getting flanks and maneuvers on people, but any great angle to help you uh, get an advantage. Now, don't see a whole lot of people using this one, but it's probably because you can prone right here and... 
an angle down the hall. I, don't know. I prefer to be standing so I don't get caught prone and then I'm stuck. Can't do anything. And then let's go to third here. Both these rooms at the end of the hall. You can jump out the windows. This is great for looking to hill one. You can even see the corner of ice cream here. See anyone hiding in bushes. You can jump onto AC unit. And if you fall, hug left. You can catch this window seal here. They don't fracture your legs. Going back to third. Do this room now. No. Do what you gotta do. Get an angle on someone or you can drop. I like to look left to the to the wall a little bit. Oh, well, I missed it, but you can actually fall here and not take damage. But you can actually be hop onto this AC unit and get onto this metal roof, but it's not really a need. Mostly use it to just not take damage, and then I'm back on first floor. I'm back up to third. Bro, well, another tip is um, if you throw a grenade to the right of the graffiti and actually land it all the way down the hallway. And the, since the way audio works, these people usually won't even hear the grenade land down here. And you'll get the kill on them. But as that grenade goes off. I like to push up. Open the door. Your grenade can catch on that table sometimes. So that's why I like to run back in this room. Open this door. Jump through the window. A lot of people don't expect this window. Usually expecting this one. Because the door is already open. Yeah, you can kill anyone holding marks. Surprise them by coming through the roof. Got it. There's a drop down you can use on the roof. And I kind of walk off a little slowly. Back up while you're falling, and now you're on second. Move on over to Stronghold now. Not a lot of spots of Stronghold, but a few that are there, depending on your play style, could help you out. Actually, stop here real quick. And jump on these stairs. Jump on this roof. This one's pretty old. But, can be helpful if you're working on Shooter Born in Heaven. Here at this train track. And actually, do a side jump. Get on the platform. Now we're at Stronghold. Gonna go to the side cubby. This room. Jump on these crates. Get on this locker. Look out the windows. Even though it is kind of hard to see out the windows. You can shoot through the glass and get kills. Pretty helpful. Another jump is here. Oh, in this corner, which I'm sure most of you know about. But, kill anyone that's coming in. Do the same thing in the middle cubby here. Jumping on this bed. Most people don't really clear all the way right. And upstairs. You just fall down. Peek on in, see if any, you know, maybe someone walks into first floor, drop on down, in from behind. Another useful tip is, instead of using the stairs, you can use this ramp thing. And, uh, walk on up. Also jump out of this window. Heading over to Crack House. I'm gonna loot or not loot, fucking check out this. You know, double stacked. 
backs and you can jump on the stairs the side jump another angle for watching the hole you can kill them before they get to the hole now we we'll go to crack house great angle for holding this back door jump on these boxes this is assuming you have everything else cleared out and you're just waiting for someone to walk through the door Here on the second floor and jump out this window here on the left get back outside same thing window down the hall this room jump outside jump on this metal sheet don't take any fall damage coming over here to hole in the wall Jump on this concrete block, peek over the wall, also jump over the wall. Here, right this pile of concrete, you can hit the B hop, walking up this, and get on the roof. Here. Another angle for Shooterborn Heaven, I don't know. Also, jump over to this other roof. I personally like more. Ah! Oh. Okay, well, obviously, like I said earlier, you fuck these jumps up, you can fracture your legs. It's something to practice. Because that could fuck you up and get you killed in a live raid. But you can come to the front here, get on these garbage bags, and do a side jump. Now you're on this one. Yeah, I like this one more. Use these tires as cover. Go prone. Watch this land bridge. Sit here. Watch just the normal bridge. Alright, let's check out. Destruction. Alright. You can actually B-hop. Into the hole. Coming over to the jump over. And jump onto this blue container. And hide in here. There's actually a lootable box in here. And from here you can jump onto triangles. Onto these big ol' huh? Containers. Jump from one to the other. Sort of land your B-hop. This one can be tough. It is pretty far. It, yeah. Use some nice angles. Usually don't need to go this far to get a good angle though. Another way to get on to triangles without having to get on the ninja or jump over. Get on these pallets. Just side jump. Yeah. Don't worry about falling through. Solid. Make my way on over across the bridge. Jump on this. No. Go all the way across or down. If you want. Don't see many people use it, but you can. Definitely don't recommend it though. There's better spots. Come across the bridge and actually jump on top of the shack. Come around the back. Hang on top. Great for shooting, born and having kills. Watch people cross that far land bridge. And even the smuggler boat. If it's there. So you can also do the same thing with this shack. Get on top of it. You can be up across. And get on the train. Now if you run all the way down. Not all the way down, but... You just run down. You get to this. Now, if you hop inside this, you can't get out. So, I'll walk along the edge. You can drop, you know, gear for insurance. And you can't get out of this even with max strength. Alright. Another good thing to know. If you're on the track here, this left track, 
you can hop, be hop or just do a side jump left and you'll be on the platform you can jump from this platform over the wall missed it from over here you can crouch a little crack now instead of going through here you can jump over this concrete also get on this barrel the rebar sticking out be off cross get on this stack of concrete here and be off across as well we can come to this barrel side jump left get back on the stack Up on these trailers and not fall off. Be up across to the blue shack. Now we're in big red. Can jump on these fallen over shelves. Great to watch storage. Anyone in the ditch. However, probably didn't know. You can be hop across. Oh, all of these. We've even gotten over to that one. You get in these center ones. Now, when you're be hopping across, you can actually hold S. And slow yourself down. Obviously, if you fall, you're going to break your legs. So, don't do that. But, just like the windows in dorms, you can fall off the edge and go down just by one shelf. Pretty useful for these box or for the shelves with boxes on them. Use them in this cover. Be sneaky breaky. I did forget to show one jump over here by the train tracks. I guess two. Some of those boxes and this train cart. Also this one and this train cart. You hop over the wall. Over here at the trailer park, you can jump over that wall, jump on this trailer, jump back over it. Now, just like all the other double stack painters I've showed, you can just come on the stairs, jump left, go through all these. Another great spot for jumping. If you have a teammate that dies early on and you're on the side, come over here. Come on this pallet. Jump left. Jump their, jump their gear outside of the map. Don't actually fall back here as there's just enough room for you to move and you you just get the walk left and right. Like, so, can't get out. Here at the storage. A lot of jumps. Not going to show all of them just because they'll use the same kind of you know, principle. You jump on a car and jump on these metal sheets. Now you're on the roof. Can't actually be hop across that. Also, I recommend checking this shelf. I found GPUs and Tetrises here. And actually, get on the roof from this dumpster. So if you spawn over by the trees, you can come run this way. 
here to catch this. Now you're on the roof. Another tip is you can come all the way down here. And actually, shoot anyone that goes into the office. Big red. Or a shooter born in heaven kill. So. And that is that. Obviously, I did miss some spots. Just showed most of the spots that I think uh, that I think would actually be useful. There's a lot of spots that you can get into, but don't provide any good angles. They're kind of just there as goofy spots. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if there's any other maps you want me to do, let me know in the comments. See you guys later. Hope you have a wonderful day.